The Hebrew word for feasts is moed, which more literally translated means divine appointments. And more importantly, all seven feasts point to and are fulfilled in Jesus. These feasts are separated into two seasons, the spring feasts and the fall feasts. Jesus was crucified on Passover. He was then buried on the Feast of Unleavened Bread and resurrected on the Feast of First Fruits. Fifty days later, the Holy Spirit was given to us on Pentecost. Now, the entire human race exists between the feasts of the spring and fall, which represent the church age. The Lord is harvesting believers and patiently beckoning those who will follow him until the fall feasts come. These fall feasts are to be fulfilled in the second coming of Jesus. And the first of these is the Feast of Trumpets. And this represents, I believe, the rapture of the church. While the Feast of Atonement represents the second coming, and the Feast of Tabernacles represents the kingdom image of the Lord, we want to celebrate as a church the Feast of Trumpets. Jesus himself said, Behold, I am coming quickly. All biblical Christians, millions of people, will suddenly disappear from the earth instantaneously. They literally are going to disappear. In other words, one second they're there, the next second they're completely gone. Only for believers in Christ, it is going to affect the entire world. The entire world's going to be affected by this. It will usher in a period of time of disastrous events on this earth that are unprecedented in all of history. Jesus said it will be the worst time of tribulation and trouble that the world has ever known or will ever know. That's what Jesus said. This sounds like science fiction, but it's not. It is clearly spelled out in the scriptures.